So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question. Translate word problem questions are typically four or more, so I'll say four plus lines long. But I also notice that the answer choices contain this X, right? They contain a variable, which means I may end up using a plug in your own number strategy along with my translate word problem. So again, I, I'm always looking out for a variable or variables in the answer choices because that's when you can definitely, or that's when you can typically use this strategy. So let's read the question and see what we do with it. So the question says, Ken and Paul each ordered a sandwich at a restaurant. Okay, that makes sense. The price of Ken's sandwich was X dollars. Okay, so here's where I may want to make up a number. Um, I am going to say, I don't know. So I usually say X equals 2, but let's keep reading and see if there's a better number for this price of the sandwich. So the price of Ken's sandwich was X dollars. And the price of Paul's sandwich was one dollar more. You know what? I'm going to just go with two. So, uh, Ken sandwich or X is equal to two dollars. And this equals Ken. And then Paul, right? Paul is going to pay three dollars. Okay. If Ken and Paul split the cost of the sandwiches, well, the sandwiches all together were five dollars, which means that Ken is going to pay. $2.50, and Paul is also going to pay $2.50. And each paid a 20% tip. Okay, well, 20% tip is, so on this on this test, we always turn des or percentages into decimals. So 20% turns into 0.2, so 0.2 times 2.5, that is, or $2.50, 20% 20 of $2.50 Remember, this is the non-calculator section. So we could multiply this off to the side. Either maybe you know, maybe you know it already, but here's a shortcut way to find an answer. So 10% of $2.50 is 25 cents. 10% of any number, all you do is move the decimal to the left one time, right? So that makes it 0.25. So if 10% is 0.25, then 20%, it's just like thinking of 10% plus another 10%, or maybe 10% times 2, okay? So like if I wanted 30%, I can just say, well, it's 10% times 3, or 10% plus 10% plus 10%. So in this case, if 10% is 0.25 or 25 cents, that means 20% would be 50 cents, so 0 0.50. So since they both are paying this tip, they're both going to end up paying three dollars, right? Because they pay two fifty for the sandwich, plus a fifty cent tip. So they eat, or so well, plus they each paid a fifty cent tip. So they're going to end up paying a total of three dollars. Okay. So which of the following expressions represents the amount the amount in dollars each of them paid? Well, I just found out how much they each paid is three dollars. But here's the other part of plugging your own number. I found this $3 amount based upon me saying that X equals 2. Now, the sandwich may not have been $2. The sandwich probably was not $2, but I made that number up. So now that I have a solution for how much they each paid based upon X equals 2, all I need to do is take that same X equals 2, plug it into my answer choices until I find the one that is equal to three. So let's try answer choice A. So answer choice A says 0.2x, but I'm gonna say that's times two, plus 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times two is 0.4. This is definitely not gonna equal three, so choice A is out. For choice B, I have 0 0.5 times two, plus 0 0.1. 0 0.5 times two, half of two is one. Uh, plus 0.1, that is also definitely definitely not equal to 3. So choice C is 1.2 times 2, and then plus 0 0.6. So choice C, 1.2 times 2, let's just do the math over here. 1.2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2. I have one decimal point space there, so i got to put one decimal point space here. So that's 2.4. 2.4 
right? So let's say this is 2.4. 2.4 plus 0 0.6 is equal to 3, and therefore choice C must be the correct answer. Whenever I use plug in your own number, though, I, I do become a little hesitant to just choose the first one that works. So I'm going to also try choice D just to make sure. And I get 2.4 times X, so 2.4 times 2 uh, plus 1.2. 2.4 times 2 is 4.8. 4.8 plus 1.2, again, is not equal to 3. So choice C is the best answer here.